Hello, Hello. I'm in MD on a series about uh, how to install and configure this Mail Server. So I never uh, show you actually if you if you close because we install you cannot see it on the desktop. You have to go to all um, uh, problems in mdaemon and in mdaemon you don't have to start mdaemon because uh, mdaemon is all the time works but um, if you for example click it you see it's a free trial blah 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 and it's it, it's it's on so it's actually is not starting it it's just you finding it you can minimize and it will be even if you close it will still working because it's a service if i reboot the machine it will be um, automatically open so just to show you something very very important uh, if you click in the tab mail you can see all communication which uh, this server is doing with uh, other clients uh, when you're sending uh, emails uh, imap pop3 whatever everything it works uh, this is a, a nice monitoring tool. What is uh, very special in the security uh, settings, you have one place which is, says screening and this is um, dynamic screen. So when the hacker is trying to hack and they will uh, automate it, robots will try to hack all the time you know, your server, if you reach these uh, settings, which are actually very important, if one machine try to guess your username and password, how many times it you try before you start blocking the IP for certain amount of time? For example, if uh, try to act to access ten times your server. And you think, okay, what are you gonna do? And you think, block it for certain amount of minutes. The same for the for the web uh, for the word client. Block IP if it's trying ten times unsuccessful. Block it for thirty minutes. So this part is extremely important because I believe that. Um, you should to block them for a really long time, for a few hours. Uh, otherwise, their machines, they never get tired and they'll constantly try to guess your username and password unless they are not completely blocked. So, I will show you here, block IP that connect more than a certain amount of times for 10 minutes, that's not so important. But here it's important block IP that fail three authentication attempts. That is great. But for how long? For 10 minutes. That is not enough. I recommend at least at least four hours. So you can type 500 minutes uh, the same for the webmail, uh, sorry, here, instead of 30 minutes, 500. So this, this tool will prevent the robot uh, in internet to try to guess your username and password. Uh, they constantly will guess, they constantly will try, but uh, blocking them for so long time make them give up. Uh, before I try, if I give like uh, 10 minutes, after 10 minutes they'll try again and they'll try again and they'll never give up for days. But if you give, if you block them for a few hours, they give up and they will activate another machine with another IP, IP to, to, to try to hack your server guessing the uh, username and password but it's actually it's like two or three times per day per day only max how I, how you saw it it only three times uh, they will try but uh, putting 10 minutes they will not even uh, 
figure it out that is blocked and they'll constantly try to connect which means that uh, they'll have like thousands of times uh, guessing username and password per day for each uh, um, user account which is really um, have security risk so this is what i wanted to show this uh, security security settings and uh, sorry is screening dynamic screener it's it's very very important uh, when they start blocking you'll be able to see in uh, security settings and here have a screening you have the list of uh, every single uh, IP which has been blocked dynamically uh, also you'll be able to see in the real time when the machines are trying to connect here SMTP in also if you don't have a service which you use for example I don't want to use my people to use POP3 you can just uh, deactivate with right button uh, you click uh, disable so uh, you can actually enable and disable how you see it is get right after a while the same uh, everything what you not doesn't want to use you can disable or on your firewall you just uh, delete the port so your firewall will prevent even if your server it's, has uh, opened a lot of uh, services your firewall will not allow them to be accessed so this is very short video just to show you that uh, this security uh, I found it is extremely important for dynamic screening to activate. Uh, this is everything. Goodbye.